a lot more convenient than my old leather wallet and helps me get rid of all the junk that I've collected over the years. The Ridge is a huge upgrade. Get your Ridge wallet at ridge.com. From Minneapolis, it'll be the Twins taking on the first place team in the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox. The White Sox have already taken eight out of nine from the Twins in games between them this season. Tonight, by the way, the first night at Target Field where they are allowing 100% capacity in. And uh, Bailey Ober, a, a large fella, 6'9", 260. He is the starting pitcher for the Twins in this game tonight as we welcome you to Major League Baseball on ESPN, presented by Dell Technologies. Hi, everybody. Glad you're along with us tonight. Dan Schulman here at my home in Toronto. Eddie Perez down at his home in Miami. And a chance for us to look in on the first place team in the American League Central. Eddie, the Chicago White Sox, who right now have a six-game lead over Cleveland for top spot in the division with the Tigers, Royals, and then the Twins, the two-time defending division champs. They find themselves in fifth spot right now. Here's my question to you to get it started, my friend. Who are the White Sox, and how have they survived all of these injuries this year? Well, it's because of depth, and it's because of experience. And you look at the get-go, from the start, they ended up hiring Tony La Russa. Experience matters, and they wanted to bring in somebody that did. Yes, you talk about the depth. You have Eloy Jimenez, Luis Robert, and Nick Madrigal. Key injuries that they have lost this season, but still... Because of that, the pitching has been able to hold. You have a lot of depth there. You have a lot of experience there. You have pitchers that understand how to go deep into ball games. And when you are able to have starting pitching that has been able to do all of that, the bullpen then reacts well. And the leadership that they have on the field, it all starts with that man right there, Jose Abreu, who leads the way not only with the Latinos on the team, but the entire team as he has continued to hit and represent the team on and off the field well. As for the Twins, they have really struggled this year. They are 14 games under 500. Does not look like it'll be a contending year for the Twins, but you try to turn a negative into a positive. And in the case of the Twins, Eddie, that means a long look at some of their young players. Yeah, a long look at some of the young, the young players, and you have to start sometime, and the Twins believe it's now. Look at the even-numbered years right here when it comes to the draft. 2014, 16, and 18 from Nick Gordon. His path is experienced. Why? Because of his father and his brother at the big league level. Alex Kirilov grew up in a batting cage with his dad, and his dad has groomed that swing. And Trevor Larnack, 2018, a lot of you College World Series fans remember it was Oregon State that won it, and it was his home run 